Good morning. I'm really not having a great day. I just got back from the gym. I'm washing my sheets, so ignore that. I'm so tired. You must love. You must love. I'm on my period and I'm super tired. Horrible cramps all day yesterday and today. Like bad, bad, bad. Like haven't had Or's period in a long time. So we're just not doing great. We need to get things done. So first I'm gonna go make food because I'm hungry. A positive of today is Starbucks is doing half off on Tuesdays the rest of the summer. So we got Starbucks. We're gonna make some pasta with sausage, so I'm gonna get to it. All right, taste test, oh, I need a fork. <laughs> okay, got a fork, now taste test. Mm. Oh yeah. Good mood. So I'm basically three and a half weeks away from when I'm gonna be moving to my new apartment. So I think it's time to start packing. I did some minimal stuff to start, like taking down everything that was hanging and I still need to take down a few things, but I have a ton of boxes, so I'm gonna assemble some boxes. I think I started packing stuff I just know I don't need. Most of my packing, I'm honestly gonna do the week of moving because I'm only moving like down the road. <laughs> so it's not like a huge deal, but we're gonna get started. So I do have a couple boxes that are already assembled. I literally got all my boxes for free, so shout out to the people who have been giving me boxes. And then I have like a ton of bigger boxes that need to be assembled, but we'll start with, I guess, the smaller ones. Okay, I know I can pack this stuff in here. I have a lot of blankets, which I don't even use. I also honestly don't think I'm gonna need all of these boxes. Um, I just started collecting and then people kept giving me boxes, so I'm gonna have a lot left over. Also, I saw a TikTok hack where you put your own handles in the boxes so you can actually grab them. So I'm going to attempt that. Hello, sorry, please. Oh, sorry. I saw a TikTok hack where you cut your own handles in boxes. Oh. And I'm like, I already stuff in here and close it so I should have done it before. <laughs> it's make a T, right? And then you fold it the side. Yeah. So there's already stuff in there? Yeah. You're like satin, so. It's just like that little blanket. This was my attempt. <laughs> I think I need to watch a tutorial. Alright, I was able to get somewhat of a handle. So that makes it a little easier. There were like staples in that and it cut me. See, I only did a couple of boxes and it's already like super in the way. I also have all that water I just got that I need to move. And just is like, I don't know, it just feels too soon. Three weeks, like when I moved, from Utah to Texas, I think I started packing about three weeks out and I was moving all the way across the country. So I was really trying to get everything down, but I mean, I feel like there's just not much I can do until I'm about to move. It's like, if I really think about it, if I could do it all in like two days, that would probably be better. Seats are clean. shower because I was just feeling gross from my workout. I showered when I woke up because I was feeling gross because of my period. So now I've showered twice today, but sometimes that's just light. So I'm putting on moisturizer slash sunscreen. This is my favorite and I feel a lot better. I just brushed my hair so it's like super poofy. So hopefully it'll go down a bit. So I just threw on a headband. But something else that you have to think about when moving is all of the like annoying stuff you have to do online. So change of address with USPS. Same with Wi-Fi, uh, anything else that has your address on it, like subscriptions that get sent to you, changing literally all of that. Luckily, if you change your address with USPS, anything that you forget to change the address of will just get forwarded to your next address, so you don't have to worry too much about it, but you do wanna get it done eventually. So I'm going to try to start some of that and figure it out. I'm gonna start with the most basic one, which is just change of address, and then I'll just schedule it for the day that I'm moving. If you've never done this, it's literally the easiest way. You'll just go to USPS and then who's moving individual and then you type in all your information. All right, Sydney. Change of address, done. Now I need to transfer over my Wi-Fi to start 
on the day that I move. Just finished the Wi-Fi thing. I'm really glad that I called because the like 12 year contract I was in expired. So my bill was gonna go up like 40 bucks. And so he's like, well, let's just get you into another contract and then he got me back down to basically what I'm paying now and then went ahead and had the transfer scheduled so that I'll be able to just plug in my modem when I move and have Wi-Fi, which is great because every other time I've moved, I've had to like get someone to come out and that takes two weeks and it's just like you don't have Wi-Fi for that time. So we're good there. Um, What is next? That's kind of like the main things and then I think I just have a couple subscriptions I need to change. Oh, and I need to figure out utilities. If I'm gonna keep my same utility or switch utilities, so I'm gonna do a little research on that. Okay, that took forever, but I finally figured everything out. And basically, I called my current utility provider and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna cancel and find something cheaper. And they were like, well, let me see what the new address is. They could not find it for their life. So this guy asked me the address 10 times. Oh, okay, well, what about this, 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 and this? Is it this letter or this letter? Obviously, I'm not gonna say because I'll give you my address, but asking way too many questions. Just type it in, okay? But I was being nice and understanding, and then he was like, oh, that's why it's not popping up. We don't service that area. You could have started with that one. So now I'm just gonna apply for like a new one to start on the day I move in, and then I'll be done with everything. I'm also debating if I should cancel my gym membership because my new apartment has a pretty solid gym, and I might just work out there, and then it'd be free, and then I don't have to drive to the gym, which will then be further, because I'm moving a little further. Um, So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if I should cancel it or not. Honestly, I think I would because recently I haven't even been using like the stuff that won't be at my apartment gym so why not just work out for free I'm on hold trying to get my new electricity set up <gasps> okay well I just hung up my laundry that was laying on my bed from earlier today uh, finished all of that stuff which honestly took so long but now I'm gonna start going through stuff in my room and I have a couple boxes up here so my desk is one of those Ikea desks and I have a bunch of drawers that I need to clean out. And I have this organizer I got a while ago when I had the insurance job and I'm gonna put all my important, important documents in here. Like I literally have my life insurance license in here, the one I'll never use again. Um, but I have other stuff. So I think all this stuff is like, yeah, this is literally my house. What is it called? The deed to my house? We'll put this in here. I wonder if the whole thing could fit, because that would hit different. Okay. Yeah, it literally fits. In one of my drawers, I literally just found all of his blue light glasses. And I literally don't even wear blue light glasses anymore. I just don't really care. I'd rather wear my actual glasses. But these aren't really cute. This is oh oh I think I took part of these ones off to put on my actual glasses. But I actually want to order some new glasses, like real glasses. I also found a bunch of stickers. Oh, gift cards, hello. Didn't know I had these. This gift card expired in 2018 for Kidoba. Cold Stone, $10 gift card. Steak and Shake, $25 gift card. How do I know if these are used? When do they expire? Okay, I don't think that one expires. I don't think gift cards expire, actually. What is this? Walgreens. Oh, I have these really cute, like, Jesus stickers. This one says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation, which is Mark 16, 15. It's so cute. Great is your faithfulness. No season is ever wasted. Rooted in love. These are all so cute. I need to put them on my laptop, like, right now. And I've just got some cute, like, Roam the Unknown. This is from my management company. It's same with this one. We are transformed in the waiting. Oh my goodness. Just got my first box in my room packed. Let me show you. These drawers were all full, but now I just have literally my Bible and my Bible study stuff, which I use every day. And then all those will kind of go in a backpack. Nothing in here. And then these are all my swimsuits on the bottom two drawers, so they'll go in a separate box or whatever, so doing good. It's a few days later, and as you guys saw in my last video, I just got my job offer for my new job. I'll be starting in a few weeks, which means I'll be making more money, and they also want me to have a studio that I can just renovate to be like a really cool filming studio for them, because that's what I'll be doing. And I can't do that, because I was about to move into a one-bedroom apartment. So I contacted the apartments I was gonna move into and asked if they had any two bedrooms available, which means all that work that I did, I will have to redo by changing 
getting the apartment number. And then what also kind of sucks is that the only two bedroom apartment available was their townhouses, which is obviously gonna be a lot more expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. And I just have to remember that it's for my job and I need the room and um, I'll explain more of the living situation when I get closer to moving in because it's a situation. <laughs> so pros are, it is huge. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all that space. Cons, it's so expensive, it makes me wanna throw up, cry, and die. I am gonna be making more money. So, I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. And I could just move to a different apartment, but I can't because I already signed a lease with them and put the deposit and everything. So, I mean, maybe I could. I don't know. I haven't asked if I could actually break the lease and go somewhere else, but I would really prefer not to also because these are the apartments I loved and like feel the most safe in. So, and it would come with a garage. So that is a pro, but like I said, I'm definitely paying for that. And then another pro is I won't be getting a smaller place. So I don't have to worry about selling everything I own anymore, even though I already sold a lot of stuff. I also forgot to say, and I'll explain more later of the living situation, but Charlie's not gonna be living with me when I move because her fiance is gonna be back like early September. So she's gonna go down and live with family for a little bit and then go get him and then they're gonna go like see family. So that's kind of the moving situation. But yeah, that's it for this video. I just kind of got started with packing and moving stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't really know what to film as of now because I'm like in the process of moving. I'm about to start a new job and I just don't have like a ton of time. I'm also sick right now. So stay tuned for my next video because I'm a mess. Anyway, um, sorry I haven't been posting as much, but I will, I will get back to it. We'll see. We're trying to build a schedule with like the new job and everything, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!